And as David said, come to Beck and Holt Park in Greenfield, Indiana. And there's a little fishing pond. I got Trigger with me today. He needs a haircut so bad. But we can't get him in until September. But anywho. I love this little park. It has uh, paved trails so anybody can access this place. Um, that's a floodplain, but they built a boardwalk across it. Let me get to the. You got a fishing pier over there, a fishing dock. And there are plenty of open spots to fish around here. Yeah, they stock that with uh, bluegill, bass, um, catfish. So yeah, it's a pretty good little fishing pond. I think there's even crappie in there. So here's the boardwalk. Well, lookout tower. So yeah, it goes over the floodplain here and there's the boardwalk over there boardwalk we'll go out here a little bit we want to get to some trees but this is the boardwalk and it cuts through the park like I said, there's a floodplain here. This is a way to access this. It's very nice. We utilize the whole park. Yeah, like I said, this park is phenomenal for anybody to come here and enjoy a little bit of nature. So we're at a sycamore tree. And another thing about this park is that they do have little signs. Pretty cool if you're interested in plants and you have kids that want to learn about plants and trees. This is a good resource. And they'll tell you where they're from. And the silver maple is definitely a staple here in Indiana. That sucker is planted in every neighborhood. But I even like you get the black walnut. Prairie grass is absolutely beautiful. So this park has a little bit of everything. It has paved walking trails, a boardwalk that's easily accessible, and a dog, two dog parks. But that does come with a, I think a fifty dollar fee for the year. And you know your dog has to be up all, up. up Let's start over. Up on all their shots to be able to go in there. So you gotta have your vet records. Then you pay a 
fee and then you get access to that for the year which isn't bad but I usually take my dog everywhere with me for the majority of it he is getting a little older so he has slowed down a bit but walking him on a leash in here it's just fine with him but they got obstacle courses in there it's pretty neat so it's worth the 50 bucks I mean it's not that expensive um, they have a little fishing pond like I already said um, this park just has it all for a family to come out here and enjoy the the afternoon or morning or whatever got bird habitat which is very cool these prairie fields are awesome for bird watching And really, Indiana is loaded with these little parks. And um, this park is donated by the family, which is very cool. And we're going to walk down here a ways. I'm going to show you the shelter house and then the little amphitheater. And here's a little amphitheater. little shelter house very cool There's a shelter house right by the fishing pond. On the back side, you get yourself a dog park. You got one for the big dogs and then another park over there for the small dogs. Well, that's pretty cool but that's our little hike for the day and thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later